All right, guys, we're going to talk about Square in this video. The reason I want to talk about Square is they're actually down about 22% over the past three months. They were down a little bit more today. It wasn't a fantastic day for the major indices. A lot of people are thinking that the market's crashing. But I think as long as we have the monetary policy that we have in place right now, low interest rates, you know, bond yields low, things like that, I really think that the stock market isn't going to crash under those conditions. But I certainly could be wrong. But I want to talk about Square because over the past year, they're actually pretty flat. So is it time to buy Square or is there more pain ahead? That's what I want to talk about in this video. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to the Tip Ranks YouTube channel. I'm Richard Allen. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. We're going to talk about Square in this video today because I really think it's time to start looking at whether or not this is an attractive place to enter for this stock. And it may be, it may not be as well, depending on what the stock market wants to do. But Square recently is down 25% from all time highs set back in August. Now, you can see here that the analysts are still very bullish on Square. This is a strong buy based on 22 analyst ratings with an average upside of 47.36% with some big price targets as high as $380 per share for Square over the next 12 months. So you can see that analysts still like Square overall, but what happened? Why is Square down? Well, they had a revenue miss and an earnings miss in Q3. That's why they have fallen so much since hitting all-time highs in August. Their cash app growth is slowing down, so investors aren't as excited about Square's prospects going forward. However, now that Square has cooled down a little bit, take a peek at the chart. Over the past one year, Square is only up 2.63%, so pretty flat. We have dipped down to these levels, this $200 level, a few times and we've recovered from those levels pretty significantly back in April March to April you saw that back here in 2021 you saw it dip just below $200 in May as well and recover nicely from there all the way up to those August highs and now we get another dip here so a few times over the past year, we've seen these levels. But as an individual investor, you can treat these as a buying opportunity or a time to panic. It's totally up to you. With Square, I think Square is a fantastic company and although growth may be slowing on the cash app side of their business, they are trying to do things on the side of crypto and decentralized finance that may make up the difference in the future. The other big thing that I want to talk about with Square is their acquisition of a buy now pay later company called Afterpay. Square just received approval to take over Afterpay, an Australian based buy now pay later service for $29 billion. The buy now pay later business is absolutely booming. In fact, Afterpay grew their revenues by 92% since 2019. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this Afterpay acquisition. I would love to hear your opinion. Do you think this is gonna add revenue to their bottom line? It obviously will, but do you think they will see the growth they need in the coming months to offset the, the growth that isn't happening over in the cash app side of their business. And as you think about that, remember, Square is an absolute juggernaut in their space. I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. And I like, personally, I like where the price is right now. But December could be a very volatile month. There are several potentially negative catalysts coming up that I'm sure we will talk about over the next several weeks here in December. Uh, so it could be a volatile month, but I think as long as monetary policy stays the same and with the renomination of Jerome Powell, which I think is a good thing overall for the market, it looks like monetary policy should stay the same for the next several months, several potential years even. Um, and I think until that changes, until probably late 2022, I think the market's going to continue to do well. Of course, there will be individual winners and losers in the stock market, but I think Square will outshine some other companies, especially in the fintech space, 
That's my personal opinion. Guys, thank you so much for joining me for another video. I appreciate each and every single one of you. As always, if you learned something new or found any value at all in this video, let me know by hitting that like button and that subscribe button down below. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.